You know, the experts predicted a massive cicada takeover, but believe it or not, it's already come and gone, and a lot of folks really didn't notice anything. Rob Wu brings us that story. This was supposed to be the sound of the summer. It's so loud. They must be everywhere. Wait a minute. Who put the laptop with a cicada video next to me? For some people, like the ones who sent us viewer photos from Poth Town, the presence was unmistakable. But for many others, the cicadas were MIA. But do people even know what to look for? It looks like a huge bug. Rather cricket. Black. What have you heard about the cicada first? Hmm, well, they live on trees. Just to verify, she's going to have to show me what she saw. Yay, I'm going to drop two. That's either a smiling cicada or a baked potato. To the real expert, entomologist Scott McNeely says there are different family groups or broods of cicadas that are on separate life cycles. This year we had brood two, so it's not as if every cicada group comes alive simultaneously every 17 years. Take a look at the brood two map and you'll see by default it doesn't even blanket most of the state. In Stokes County or northern Forsyth County, Guilford County, northern Guilford County, you may have had bunches of them and then some areas had none. It's not like a plague of locusts that are just going to swarm all over everywhere. Those broods have got pretty well defined you know, where you could anticipate having, having issues. So if every brood emerged at the same time, yes, most of the state would be overwhelmed by cicadas. But when it's just a single brood or two, you only find them in certain areas. So in four years, when the next brood of cicadas surface from its 17-year cycle, don't expect it to be everywhere. Here we got brood uh, six. And look again, that's kind of just touching the Piedmont, 2017.